Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back, and to everyone new, hello and welcome. You are looking at my sweet Gideon. Gideon is the Mick sculpt by Adri Stoet, or Stoetti, not sure how to pronounce that correctly. And he was reborn by Yvonne Nather of HBN Art Dolls. So, I have Gideon to show you today. And I do have a topic. And I'm happy because I'm um, back to having some videos stacked up uh, for, for pre-recording. Um, I know that's not always optimal for that the videos that I'm making not to go up the same day that I'm making them. And sometimes days or even a week or so later but right now um when I can get a little bit of block of time to spend with the dolls and making videos and stuff if I make you know several in a row it just it works out for me and then I can store them there and and so on so it's it's just working out schedule wise for me and this way I can still be producing videos and content because I have so much that I want to talk to you guys all you know so much so many topics and so many babies and things that I want to show that it's like getting all backed up in my head so anyway and then of course new stuff comes up all the time like this topic so what we're gonna chat about is rookie mistakes in doll collecting and reborn and silicone doll collecting um i still make them i still make rookie mistakes and you know from time to time and this time i was able to um catch myself and kind of backtrack and repair the mistake without you know any, any you know I had a a little bit of a of a financial loss, but other than that, I didn't, you know, nobody lost anything and everything was, you know, uh, was left off smoothly. But I almost let baby Gideon go. So to those of you that have been with my channel, you will know that Gideon is pretty much brand new. Um, I got him in July. Uh, I've featured him a few times on my channel. I've changed him a couple times to, you know, for videos and um, photos. But, you know, haven't, I didn't even, because um, Orion came so close um, to him. And Orion is my Roma Lee uh, sculpt. He hasn't been on much. I really need to get that little bub on. <laughs> my little wild redhead bub. He is, oh my goodness, he just melts my heart. And then also my Liam had come before that. Like I have babies coming in quickly. And that's, um... I don't want I don't know if it's necessarily a mistake, but I've done that in the past and then I've had it where I didn't truly get to have that whole experience with each baby and what I mean by whole experience is from the the you know, well obviously you have all the antici anticipation of waiting for the baby, but it kind of goes quicker even if it's a couple days just shipping kind of goes quicker when you're preoccupied with another new baby that's there or planning on you know one coming after that you know you get busy with that I guess and then uh box opening day is very special to me not just the box opening itself um I love filming my box openings I know many of you really enjoy seeing my box openings and I have a lot of fun it, it's it's just something fun you know I'm sure most of us do enjoy box openings I kind of set aside the whole day um, if I can plan in advance and get work and things done and prepare you know dinner or plan to buy pizza that night and just try to keep the day um, 
open so that I can enjoy the experience of not only the box opening, but the whole day. Um, and it doesn't me necessarily mean a box opening where there has to be gifts in the box. Um, I'm just talking about the, the, the baby coming and opening the baby <laughs> whether it's a box opening with you know gifts or not I'm just talking about box opening of the baby and that feeling of the new baby and you know spending time that day and talking to friends and sharing the first pictures and all of that and then, you know, I'll spend that evening usually just like holding that baby, taking some pictures. And I like to try to spend a, a few weeks in every evening with a new baby. Um, really getting to know that sculpt and, you know, changing them and, um, you know, taking pictures and seeing like what looks good on them, what's going to be their little look, their little personality, so to speak. I didn't really get to do that with Gideon, my own fault, but you know, I, I didn't so much. So immediately I felt almost a detachment to where I was like, well, you know, I'm going to need to let babies go so I could, you know, potentially list him next. That's what I was thinking. So I was in a live stream the other day of a channel that's fairly new to me. I think I came across her, I, I want to say a couple weeks ago, um, that, um, she came up in my feed of suggested videos and I saw a baby that she painted, like um, painted hair that was really, really beautiful that made me click on it to go see that doll, to go see that baby. Um, and I enjoyed the video and the baby, so I subscribed. Um, so the next time I saw that she had a live up, um, I hopped in the other day and she had a baby for sale that I was wanting and I said oh too bad I didn't you know already put Gideon up and have him sold because then I could go for this baby um and this particular channel was actually um new who my Gideon and was very interested in him. So a conversation, you know, um, was struck up about a trade and uh, from after the live, you know, we messaged and stuff. So um, it actually went as far as that we made a deal. Um, I, the, the uh, sculpt that she was trading is um, a very, very rare, hard to find, sold out sculpt. So um, there was a little bit of financial compensation on, you know, on the, and then trade the babies that I would do, which I did, which I sent. And the plan was to ship the babies on, on Monday. Well, I woke up Saturday morning and, um, and mind you, when I was in the live on Friday night, like my kids were at my my heels. Um, you know, I was, I, I think I was cooking and then I know I was outside. I know um, my son had fallen off his bike. I was taking care of scraped knees. I, you know, everybody was in and out and everywhere. So it was kind of a hectic night. So I didn't really have time to think. So you know how like, spontaneously you just jump and you're like oh I have to have that baby and oh my gosh that's an that's a sculpt that's impossible to find so if I pass up this opportunity I may never get a chance at this sculpt again yada 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 so that's what was going on in my head um so you know everything went quickly and Saturday morning I got up and I brought Gideon here upstairs to get him ready to go on Monday as soon as I picked him up into my arms before I even got up the stairs I just the t bursted into tears were pouring down my face I'm looking at his little face and I'm like oh, 
what did I do? Oh my gosh. And I just had this awful feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I was like, you know, that I, I made a mistake. I definitely made a mistake. I'm not ready to let my little Gideon go. Um, so I brought him upstairs and I proceeded to still prepare to get him ready. And, you know, my word is my word. And, uh, you know, so I really wasn't thinking much of it. But as the day went on, I thought to myself, you know, um, I, something that I would want to know if another collector was feeling the way that I was and that I was, you know, going forward with a trade, I would at least want to know that that collector was feeling like they made a mistake and they didn't want to give up that baby. Um, so I did let let her know and um, she uh, was, you know, very understanding about it, of course, because we all know how our attach at, ugh, attachments can be to these dolls. And so, um, she did, you know, she did agree to, um, cancel the trade, uh, you know, to keep the, the money I sent and cancel the trade that, you know, would be you know, even and not a problem. And that was, you know, okay, that was, you know, fine with me. I mean, it, it stunk to, <laughs> to, to lose that, you know, cash, but, um, in my, uh, you know, and of course I had a choice. I could have just, you know, still went through with the trade, but what I, I ultimately chose was I felt that, um, it was, an expensive lesson, but it was a lesson learned, you know, a lesson learned that here I am, um, you know, I'm almost two years on YouTube, I'm over two and a half years, probably closer to three years collecting, and I'm still making rookie mistakes. At least I caught myself, at least I got my bearings, at least I caught myself and knew that I was going to be unhappy. Um, you know, letting, letting Gideon go. Um, there was a little more circumstances around the, the baby that I was going to, um, be trading with that I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. It has nothing to do with the collector on the other end that was trading. I will say that, um, you know, it had nothing to do with that. Um, but the more I thought about things and the circumstance and where that baby originated from and it just and I don't again you know I don't <laughs> I I now filter things that I say because I you know um truly am at this point you know just avoiding where as you know previously I might have said um a little more um and kind of shared you know so everyone would know like my thought process and what was going on but I'm not going to share that part of it I'm just going to leave that part alone and um you know truly uh I the most important part was Gideon and how I was feeling so that's that um and uh you know have you ever sold or traded, you know, let go of a baby that you regretted. I think we all have. I've done it in the past and I could very well do it again. Um, now, you're supposed to learn from your mistakes and I don't make mistakes as often. I also didn't look at the fact that the baby that I was looking at, that I was, you know, trading for, um, was a sleeping baby and a larger size, um, you know, more like a, um, a large newborn to zero to three months. And everyone that's been with me knows, you know, I talk about this all the time that my, my ultimate preference is open eye babies. However, um, you know, if it's the right sculpt, I bond deeply and really love and enjoy the sleeping babies smaller and the smaller, the tinier they are, then the sleeping is okay. It's good for me. Um, when I get into a bigger sculpt, the, the sleeping, you know, I have a hard time bonding with those babies. That's something that I didn't look at until afterwards. That's something I didn't think about until afterwards. So, um, 
you know, I didn't think about the fact that, yes, I I love this sculpt. I enjoyed this sculpt. I really enjoyed seeing um, this sculpt in, in my friends' collections. And I know what some, some have went through um, to find and get this sculpt because it was, it was again, very rare, very ha hard to find, um, you know, sculpt sold out years ago. Um, but I didn't think about the fact that I personally was not like on a hunt for that sculpt, you know, because I look, you know, what I've learned as a collector is to start with the sculpt and you really got to fall in love with the sculpt and not just fall in love because it's easy, of course, to fall in love with all of them. Look at them. But as far as the features that work for you as a collector, so the one feature about a bigger sleeping baby, I know doesn't work for me. So I wasn't thinking about that fact that, yes, you know, what a gorgeous, gorgeous sculpt, but better enjoyed by watching that sculpt in all of your collections as than mine. So... That was something I also uh, didn't, you know, think about. There was just, you know, there was just aspects. I'm going to take his hat off so you can see the rest of his painted hair. There was just, look at this. I mean, is he not flipping amazing? I think Yvonne's hair painting is just out of this world. The detail and the realism, I mean, when I look at him, it's like I feel like I'm going to reach down and touch hair. It's so three-dimensional, so realistic. And I love how she goes very heavy on the, the, you know, hairy face, the hair of like the eyebrows going into the hair on the side of the head because so many babies are born. If you Google pictures of newborn babies um you are going to see a very large percentage of babies have this and it's so realistic to me and I mean just look at you know the beautiful the pinks and purples on his eyelids and then I don't know how well let me see if we can zoom in this way Oh, there we go. Can we all see the milk bumps there on his nose? Can you all see them? I hope this comes out in the video. There's a lot of capillaries and stuff in the eyelids. It's not, the camera is not picking up those, but I think it's picking up the milk bumps. He's so new and I had other babies coming in that I didn't even get a details video done of him, you know, because it was either like not sunny or I didn't have time during the day and I just never got to it. I really owe you all a, a details video of baby Gideon, don't I? But he, oh my gosh, and look at him and he's a preemie and I adore preemies, so... Um, the, you know, and the reason why I, it's not necessary for me to talk about the, the other, you know, doll that I was trading for because it's, it's not relevant. So, you know, don't ask. It doesn't need to be. And it's, you know, I'm just telling, you know, telling my, and nothing, nothing's wrong. Nothing's, you know, um, like I said, the other collector was, was you know, gracious and understanding and okay, you know, with me canceling, you know, yes, she was, you know, looking forward to getting um, Gideon, but, you know, thank goodness it was, you know, very late at night um, when, when we had come to an agreement on the trade and then, you know, the next day I, you know, was able to express that to her. So, um, you know, she was understanding of that, and I will, of course, you know, um, let her know that, um, you know, if I ever do part with Gideon, you know, give her first right of refusal, you know, of course, um, but 
things kind of worked out and I don't and then I don't want to spoil anything on that person's end either so but just just say things worked out the way that they were supposed to and um be because I'm not completely a rookie although I made a rookie mistake and you know I will learn from it I paid for it and I will learn from it you know but I didn't pay for it by losing the doll that I wasn't ready to let go of you know what I'm saying because that's kind of the worst case scenario when the doll goes and you're you're stuck so I wasn't stuck with that so I'm very happy that I have baby Gideon and it really then got me to thinking he's got this beautiful soft spot on his head his he has darker hair so um you can't see the soft spot as good as when it's painted with lighter hair oh there we can see it better but um but it's there and you can feel it which is nice um oh he's just he's just so so precious I can't say enough about Yvonne's painting there's nothing about this baby that I don't love so why on God's green earth I was thinking I was going to put him up or trade him I the only thing that logically that I can think of is I had babies coming in stacked on top of each other um you know which caused you know I didn't spend the time, you know, bonding with him. So, you know, and sometimes even if you love a doll, you're able to make that detachment because you want to move on and you're able to do it just fine. But, you know, when I looked at him, I realized I wasn't fine at all. So afterwards, I was thinking to myself, you know, I love the size, you know, I love preemie sculpts so, so much. And realistically they do not take up as much space right um you know uh, two or three preemies is the same space as you know like a a bigger like my like my Maisie or I mean my goodness I could probably curl up four little preemies of the size of her so um, you know, I, and, you know, space as far as displaying them is, you know, I think about that, but I'm like, you know, I could put a little basket and fit a couple preemies on, you know, in a basket on a shelf, um, you know, so therefore, because they, they're smaller, just so happens that, you know, because I love tiny babies, that's what I'm drawn to, that actually works for me well. So I'm thinking to myself, because I've really been wanting to settle down with my collecting and get into some babies that will, you know, really be here a long time. I never say forever because, you know, I don't know, you know, years down the road, what could happen? I mean, I could move and only have room for one baby, you know, like it, you, you don't know what's going to happen in life. But for the most part, the plan is, is you know, I have, um, of course, you all know Asir, I have my Levi, my dream Levi, he's like the crown jewel, um, you know, really happy about that, um, I'm super excited, so this is the exciting news, because I'll probably put this in the title, so first off, Liam found a mommy. He's going to go home tomorrow, actually. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, my toddler, Liam, that's really new. But um, a lot of, you know, I've talked about this. I An artist that I just really love their work. I've been admiring their work. Um, I was able to get in with. Um, and it's I'm going to get be able to get a Liam from them. And it's not going to be like a custom. I have a spot, but it's not going to be like a traditional custom because I want to give the artist creative freedom. I want the artist vision. That's how I roll. Um, but, you know, it it is a going to be a boy and a Liam for me from this artist that I have 100% confidence that I'm going to love what you know, her vision. Anywho, so I have that and um, it's really 
makes it special to me to be able to follow the work and progress in the journey of the baby um, in that way. It just does. It just makes, you know, babies, you know, they kind of already have their little personality and stuff like that. And I love that. So I have that. And then um, you all know my Chase left suddenly. You noticed that I wasn't showing him, you know, on my channel. And then um, he left. So he went um, over at a pit stop over at Annie, at Annie Bananies. And now he is, you can go over to Nana's channel um, what, what are you, Nana? Uh, Jeffrey, to, uh, um, oh goodness, I'm gonna have to put it in the description. Um, she's got the purple J and it's Jeffrey, like, two, one, three, it's, uh, numbers. But go see her box opening. Um, it's, it's just really special. And Nana, it's great to see you. You look so good, too. I'm, I'm so happy. All right, so I'm rambling now. All right, so that all happened, and I really truly believe that, you know, when we're giving and we have kindness in our heart and we're thinking of other people, um, sometimes we may make sacrifices or, you know, things, um, or we, you know, need to let a baby go for financial reasons or whatever, but if you sit back and relax and enjoy the journey of collecting and the ride and even in the mistakes that you make because the mistake that I made uh, in almost letting Gideon go got me to thinking about keeping preemies you know having a bigger preemie collection displayed and I feel kind of excited about that I can now look at you know, several of the preemie sculpts that I really admire. So anyways, um, I think everything happens for a reason. And I will say be Chase is a sculpt that is a definite, definite sculpt that I want in my collection. Like, you know, my long-term collection. I have my crown jewel in my Levi. I definitely wanted a Chase. And I have been waiting and waiting um, for an artist that I just absolutely adore and I have a deep personal connection with and I wanted to make sure that I I wanted her work in my collection but wanted to make sure that I chose a sculpt that I was going really going to want to keep and I know it's Chase so um, this artist and I now have the baby Chase planned i um, going to leave it all as, you know, to who as a surprise to you all. But I will, when we get up to that point, take you on that journey. So I am so excited. My heart is just like overflowing. Like, you know how on Facebook when you send like a heart and it just goes bloop, 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 all the little hearts go up. That's what my heart feels like right now <laughs> with like babies and friends and you know, people doing really kind things, and I don't know, it just, it just feels good to be, uh, you know, busy with, with my kids and life and what I'm doing, and, you know, be coming here as it was always intended to, you know, have that reprieve, that break from stress, that break from everything where there's, you know, the fun and the joy and the peace of baby and friends. And um, I think if you surround yourself with people that make you feel good, at, you know, that you bring something to their life, that they bring something to yours, you know, people that, you know, um, are good people, good friends to you that want to see you feeling good and happy and that, you know, are there and supportive and you just surround yourself with loving people, you know, and, and put that out there, you know, to, to them as well, that it's, it just makes a nice place and, you know, I, I've, you know, I, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I, I really do want to, you know, help everyone understand that 
You don't have to watch people that you don't like, even me. You know, I, I understand that everybody's not going to love me. Uh, it's That's life. Everyone's not going to love you. That's, that's, that's life. And there are some people and YouTubers that will take up talking about you and stuff like that. There's nothing you can do about that. But you have a choice. You don't have to watch. You don't have to be subscribed to channels that you don't like. You don't have to watch channels that you don't like. Um, so if if you're not feeling good about, you know, on a whole about coming here to spend your hobby time about like, quote, what's going on in the community, think about what you're watching and who, because it's a huge, huge place. And, you know, I feel like sometimes we get tunnel vision and it, you know, have a hard time getting out of that. But, you know, I talked about this in a previous video about how to remove yourself and or how I do it, et cetera, et cetera. So, but it's really, I, I can say that I'm really happy and back to a place of peace. And the people that I'm watching and spending time with are at a place of peace. And that makes me feel good. You know, really focusing on the babies and you know, first and foremost. So that was my rookie mistake. I almost let Gideon go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you happy Gideon is still here and didn't leave? I am um, grateful and thank you. You know who you are Mwah, if you're watching. I so much appreciate that in your heart, you know, you were very understanding about how awful I was feeling about parting with my little man so thank you I really do appreciate that um to everyone else please smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell next to it so that you get notifications when I next upload a video and receive invites to my live streams and don't forget to hit that like button if I didn't say that already all right everyone I hope everybody's real happy that Gideon's still here. I am, and I'm looking forward to making some videos with my little peanut, and I'm looking forward to growing a preemie collection here. All right, everyone. Till next time, God bless.